Hey guys, Chris Navar here. So if you're perusing the internet a lot, there's probably a good chance that you're looking for something to watch, whether that's on YouTube, or if you actually want to watch uh, full episodes of your favorite shows. And if you're of the younger generation, there's a good chance that some of those shows are going to be anime. Uh, the thing about anime is that a lot of the websites on the internet that actually provide anime uh, don't really have the rights to actually show those anime, so when you're watching it, it's technically illegal. Um, but there's actually a Reddit thread that has a good compilation of a list of different sites you can go to, which I'm going to put in the description down below, by the way. Um, uh, and using these lists, you can go find sites which can offer free anime for you to watch, and the quality that they uh, present to you is perfectly fine, as good or better than some of these those other free sites that don't have the rights to these shows can offer you. So one of those uh, sites, of course, probably the most famous one that... There's a good chance you've already heard of it, but it's Crunchyroll. Uh, probably my favorite site for anime at the moment. And the reason for that is that they just offer a huge lineup of different animes. And they will give you basically full access to every single episode of all of the animes that they have there. Except for the uh, latest streaming um, animes, the ones that are currently being released in Japan. They will hold off a week until they give you the uh, access to the latest episode if you have a free account or no account at all. Uh, of course, you can get a paid subscription where uh, you can have access to those as well. Uh, but it's totally not necessary. I mean, if you don't mind waiting a week, that's fine. Crunchyroll is a great site. Uh, another place you might not have uh, looked at is Funimation. Now, uh, Funimation, I believe they do a lot of dubs for different animes. Um, not as notorious as four kids, thank goodness. Uh, but a lot of their anime, you can find it for free on their YouTube channel. I believe they also have a uh, Funimation.com website. But if you can watch it on YouTube, then uh, why not just do it there? As far as YouTube goes, probably the best place to find uh, anime episodes, full anime episodes. Of course, uh, they're going to be running ads like every other YouTube video. Uh, but you can find a lot of stuff here, and not just like the ones that they show in America. You can also find uh, subs for different anime. So that's a really good resource, especially if you don't like uh, dubbed anime. But aside from that, you can also go to other sites like Hulu and Viewster, which aren't particularly uh, anime-specific websites. Uh, they're a lot more like Netflix in that they have a lot of different other shows. But they do have animation and cartoons as a category, so you'll find like the stuff that you would see on Cartoon Network, American animation, uh, here as well. But you will definitely be able to find uh, some Japanese animations. Uh, okay, you like Siraj. Uh, that's one I haven't seen, but looking at the art style... Hmm, that might be American, that might be Japanese, I'm not actually sure. Uh, let's see, well, Pokemon, that's one, obviously. Digimon. Yeah, but those are stuff that show on uh, American TV. Where the... Ah! Gaku and Alice. Uh, that's a good show, and that is definitely 100% Japanese. I don't know if it has a, uh English dubbing there or not, but uh, you can definitely find stuff that isn't normally airing in America here. Maybe not to the same extent as Funimation and Crunchyroll, but it's definitely another source you can check out. Uh, same thing with Viewster. I believe Viewster is a lot newer than uh, many other networks. So when you look at their anime category, which is uh, pretty much the number one that they try to highlight here, you can find a couple pages of anime, and you have some good ones on there, like uh, Steins Gate, that's really, really solid. And uh, Orange High School, yep, that's also a good one. Uh, a bunch of other ones here that you can check out, but uh, if this is really the extent of their list, and I haven't delved fully into the site, then uh, they might not have too many animes, but um, it's another source you can check out at the very least. Now, you'll notice on the list that there are a few other sites. Uh, Daisuke, um, that looked like a good one to check out, but some of the other ones, like the Anime Network, basically for the free accounts you're signing up for, or if you're just watching it as a guest, they just link back to Hulu, which is lazy as hell. Basically meaning this site does nothing, it's just a proxy for letting you watch uh, anime on Hulu. Now, I don't know if that changes when you subscribe to their uh, two-week trial or anything, but um, if that's how it is, you might as well just be watching things on Hulu, if I'm entirely honest. So, a Daisuke, when I was looking at that one a little bit earlier, that actually looked pretty good. Uh, Aniplex, if you watch a bunch of anime, you've probably seen that in the logos of some of those uh, anime shows. 
And from here, you do have a good chunk you can watch. I, I believe I did actually come over here and take a look at Persona 4, the golden animation. Uh, they might not have every single episode, though. I believe the golden animation is longer than that, but I couldn't say for 100% certain. Let's actually go make totally sure. Persona 4 golden animation. Googling. Waiting days for a doctor's appointment can be a big worry. Especially no way to mute when that, it's that your kind of child. Sucks. That's why the Children's Hospital oh, of okay. Michigan has My bad. So that actually is uh, all 12 episodes. Introdu let's, uh, let's check one more anime to make sure. One that I know how many episodes are in. Um, if that was the original Sword, oh, Sword Art Online 2. That should be about 24 episodes. More. Yep, okay, 24 episodes. So it does look like Daisuke will give you... Uh, some full animes, freely watch, uh, freely watchable, although unskippable ads. So I don't want to rant on too long. I just wanted to give you guys a couple sources that if you want to watch anime legally, you can go ahead and check these places out. Of course, there's a few other ones on this list. Uh, what, some that I've never heard of, like Vicky or a Neon Ally, or Ally rather, which uh, apparently is subscription based. But definitely, I would check out Funimation and uh, especially Crunchyroll first as your main sources because uh, those are pretty much what I use. So if you have any more questions, uh, let me know in the description down below. Uh, other than that, I've been Chris. Thank you guys very much for watching and sticking with me to the end. Uh, Till next time.